it. <clears throat> this is my sister's um, dish. I learned it from her. I did some additional for it today. And here you have in the uh, in the uh, white pot is one cube of Maggie. We put a little bit of uh, mustard, the spicy one, uh, spicy ketchup. There you see some um, um, the our uh, Yemeni spices, the Hawaii shirka, of course, my curcuma, and muscat nose because it makes the uh, meat always um, softer and it cooks faster and it melts in the mouth. After we put them all together, we have to crush, I mean, you mix them together, but the reason why I say I to crush them is because of the Maggi cube has to be crushed and mixed all together. And you already can see the lamb on the right hand side of the screen, ready there. And I'll show you now what are we going to do with it. This is my sister's main dish, like I told you. She taught us this, but I, add, I added some additions to it. And uh, I was amazed with the results. So sis, here it comes. <laughs> now, once everything is mixed, you see the potatoes, you see the 600 grams of lamb with a bone in the middle. Um, and to 250 grams of potatoes actually in slices, um, vertical, not horizontal. And uh, you see, we're not cutting the meat, but we're making openings in the meat. Um, the sauce is there mixed. You see a brush and you will soon see the garlic and the, um, the uh, rosemary. Now we are stuffing these openings that we did with the knife with garlic and soon we will also stuff them with rosemaries. The difference between my sister and I is um, she does everything the same except that I added the garlic and the rosemary and the results were amazing. It's amazing how what flavor, smell and taste the rosemaries give to food. So now you see everything is stuffed here. Um, and we start uh, brushing the, the meat. Um, you don't really have to worry about brushing every part of it because I'll explain to you in a while why um, when it goes all into the plastic um, cooking bag. Now we will obviously do the same thing to the other side also. By the way, I'm standing outside in the garden, so whatever sounds of nature you hear is, is real, is not sound effects. There it is, that's the first side of it, and now we will turn it, and we will do the same thing on the other side. Here comes the plastic cooking bag. I'm sure you all know about it. I love it, actually. It cooks nice, and it gives a very, very nice, uh, uh, um, um, it cooks the meat in a very, very nice way. Um, and quite practical to be honest. Uh, all the, now all the meat is going inside and the marination and we will start marinating with the brush to potatoes and they will also go inside. Like I said before, you don't worry about um, really marinating every edge or using the sauce. I'll tell you more as we get closer to that. Now everything is ready, we bring a Pyrex and we put the bag in the Pyrex and um, we are getting now ready to lock the bag with that, uh, you know, the blue strip, aluminium strip or whatever strip comes with it and um, it's always good to shake the bag a bit or rub it a bit or so the sauce moves around and that's exactly what I meant. Don't worry about brushing every side of it because at the end, it, when it cooks, it will cook very well. And you will see it at the end. It tasted unbelievably amazing. Um, I told you before that there are different kinds of bags. So um, uh, this one has this uh, white strip with the dots. Actually, they're holes. And you will see later how you have to put them um, to a... Uh, upwards because that's how the bag breathes. Now it's, you see here, it's closed. 
seal properly. You shake it a little bit more for the sauce to move around. And you take the, exactly this one up. Because when, when it's in the oven and it's too hot, it breathes, it becomes like a balloon. This opens up, in which you will also see now. Now everything is ready, it goes inside the oven at 200 uh, uh, degrees temperature. And this will go in for um, hundred and uh, one hour and a half, 180 minutes. You see how it blows up? That's exactly what I meant. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Ta-da! Here it comes. And here is the big reveal. There's a, a scissors in my hand now to cut it. And um, you will see how um, sometimes this part of releasing the whole thing into the paddocks is hard please be careful because everything there is is burning hot so um, we will use forks and knives and gloves again to turn the bag upside down it's amazing with this staying in everybody is working in his garden and his terrace you hear people using the hammer, there's somebody just cleaning his garden. So, yeah, maybe people needed that, you never know. There we go, we're ready to um, take the meat and the potatoes out from the bag, as you can see. And here we are. And trust me, it looks as good as it tasted. Wunderbar, oder? <laughs> now we'll try and cut the meat and see if it's cooked or not. Um, of course, it, this was done uh, um, yesterday for dinner and it was nicely cooked. You'll see now how the meat is nicely cooked when we present it to you a bit later. There you go, you see how it cuts? Smooth, no problems whatsoever. The sauce is evenly uh, distributed. It's all at the bottom of the Pyrex. Everything is soaked in, including the potatoes. You can see the effect of the rosemaries around. And um, I guess we are now ready to go. Here we go. I can now tell you it tasted amazing. Thank you for watching.